What's going on everyone? Just got out here to a lake up in northern New Jersey because today I'm actually going to be fishing and I'm going to be fishing for a fish that I've never caught before but have tried to catch before and that is landlocked salmon. So landlocked salmon are a really cool fish. There's only a few lakes in the whole state of New Jersey that stock them and this right here is one of them. So I have fished this exact lake two other times and I've never caught any. The last time I was here I did hook one but it popped off as I was reeling it in and I'm hoping that today I might finally catch my first ever landlocked salmon. So let's get started. I'm starting off with a little crocodile spoon. It's actually a flutter spoon as you can see. It's got that little like, red thing there that makes it flutter in the water. And it's in a rainbow trout color. And the reason why I've heard rainbow trout color works so well for landlocked salmon is because I've heard, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I've heard that landlocked salmon will actually eat small rainbow trout. So that's why I'm using this. And then also at the top, as you can see where I tied the knot, I cut the end of the loop really close because salmon can be pretty finicky and you don't really want there to be like a lot of line left. So there we go. A salmon just jumped right in front of me. I didn't have my camera on, but that was really cool. Big one too. Trying kind of a different technique with this spoon instead of just reeling it in. I've heard, and I don't know honestly if this was for lake trout or if this was for landlocked salmon. I've heard that uh, if you just let it sit and bounce it off the bottom, that works pretty well. And I don't remember honestly if that was for landlocked salmon or if that was for lake trout, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So there was a guy who was fishing here and apparently he's been here since early this morning and he's seen a lot, but he hasn't caught any. And apparently they're pretty finicky and skittish, but that's the tough thing with salmon is that they're just, they're, they're a tough fish to get, you know? Right in front of me, there's a bunch of salmon. One of these guys is gonna hit. Dad, they're literally like coming toward you. Are they still? They're coming through. Oh, my line's all messed up. Are they coming back? Yeah, they went back. They, they turned around and went the other way. Really? They were headed toward you. I know. They turned around, though. I saw them. The big, there's one in the front that's pretty big, too. Get out of the way, get it! Oh my goodness! Landlock salmon! Oh wow! Get, we get gotta the get the bucket! I'll get the bucket going. This is awesome! Wow, they're really... Wow! This thing is so wiggly, it's out of control. So my dad was just fishing and caught this awesome landlock salmon. Wow, oh, there we go! Finally! That water is frigid. Whoa, there he's going. There he goes. Like, look at how clear that water is. There we go. First ever landlocked salmon. I didn't even catch it, but I'm still just so excited. I've always wanted to see one of those fish and get to film one and photograph one. And that was just awesome because I just got to do that. So there's still a bunch around. I still see them all swimming around. So hopefully I can catch one now too, but that was just awesome. I'm so excited. They're really cool. One thing that surprised me the most about them is how strong they are. Like I held it. And you, they're so hard to hold. They're just so strong and feisty. Jumping they're right. jumping all over the place. So now I'm going over to the spot where I was originally fishing, the spot where I started off, because I keep seeing salmon jump right there. And I saw one jump and I just kept fishing at the same spot, but I kept seeing them repeatedly jump over here. So I'm gonna go take a few casts over there 
I, we switched up the bait. So I had been fishing with a blade bait and a spoon. And that's what my dad had been fishing with. And we were fishing for a bit and weren't catching anything. So then we both switched up to these little things right here, which is just a little jig head and a little kind of silvery tail. We were just casting those and jigging them in slowly. And my dad got one. So that was really awesome. And they're just such a cool fish. I love salmon. As I'm coming up here, I can see the salmon jumping. So right over there, that's where I have them fishing. And this is where I'm gonna try some casts and get one, hopefully. This is actually a bait that when I was fishing here for salmon last year, a guy who was fishing here told me about, and he actually gave me this jig head and this tail and told me this is what he was catching them on. And last year when we were here, it was really cloudy out. And that's one thing about salmon. The best time to fish for salmon is when it's, is when it's nice and sunny out because then they can see the bait and they can see it flashing in the water, especially in this nice clear water like this. Whereas in years past when I've been here, it's been cloudy. I think that definitely is part of the reason why we were able to catch one today and why we've seen so many seem to be pretty active. here fishing for salmon. I haven't seen any jump in a bit. I saw one come by right in here pretty close, but I just came right by and kept swimming. It didn't seem to have any interest in any of our baits. Been switching up a lot. I fished over there for a while. Now I'm back to fishing over here. And it seems like it's just kind of slowing down. So probably gonna get going soon but I'm gonna take a few more casts, see if we can get any others. That's still really awesome and really excited that we at least got one. day of landlocked salmon fishing. While there was only that one that my dad caught, it was just still so awesome to finally be able to catch one and to get to see it. And it was also really cool to see all the ones swimming through the shallows. And there was actually, I believe a few trout that was in there too. There was a guy who was there fishing who said that the other day he caught a five pound rainbow trout at this spot. So I'm definitely gonna be heading back hopefully sometime soon to do some more trout fishing and landlocked salmon fishing. And I'm actually hoping to do some more fishing in general. So I have not filmed many fishing videos or done a lot of fishing reel recently, but I was in the mood to fish and I thought this would be a fun video to film. I was just actually working on editing the video a little bit and reviewing the footage and it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.